All right, welcome back. This is M Dog, and we are once again fishing at Volkov at one of the more famous spots here at Volkov for fishing, at least bottom fishing. Uh, if you are testing spots to see what's hot at Volkov, certainly one of the places you would look is this spot here at 7100. If you've been playing this game for long, you've probably fished in this spot yourself. Just wanted to update how this spot is doing here recently. Um, and I want to give credit where credit is due, so as soon as I get this fish in, let me uh, double check that I get the right person. Uh, the whole reason why I came back and tried this spot today was because I had seen someone in the forum post about catching a trophy blue bream. So I thought, well, let me go try that, and in fact, wouldn't you know it, I got my first ever trophy blue bream here today. And it was Skeppy in the forum, so full credit to Skeppy who... Um, who pointed out that this spot was putting out some blue bream. Now, before I get to the gear and the setup that I'm using, let me just point out a couple of things. There's a couple reasons why this spot is not very good right now. There's one. One reason is it is very roachy. So you're gonna have to be prepared to catch a lot of roach. The other reason why I would say this spot is not great right now is this is kind of a two thirds of the day fishing spot right now. And what I mean by that is as far as making good silver and efficiently fishing here, you almost want to fish here about 16 hours of the 24 hours. Because most of your opportunities to get those blue bream that are worth so much, and also some of your white bream and even bimba, most of that is going to come about now, sort of uh, mid to late afternoon, or evening, or early morning. But there's a, like a whole time there between, I don't know, 10.30 a.m. or so till just before now where you're going to catch pretty much exclusively roach and occasional perch. So there's a couple of reasons why this spot is not ideal. But even despite those, uh, despite those things, in less than one day, so in just under an hour of fishing, I made 340 silver. In this spot and I've that was earlier today I'm back now and I just started fishing here again to make this video we're not gonna I'm not gonna stay with it a whole day I was just kind of trying to start so that we would end right about nighttime and hopefully let you see a couple of those blue bream thankfully we got one early uh, as ter in terms of different species you say we, we've already gotten some roach we did get to get a nice white bream when we first put our lines in you will see some white bream. You'll also see some Vimba, and that helps too. Um, but that trophy bream, blue bream I got, which was enough for a U.S. weekly, is the first trophy blue I've ever seen for me. Um, so that was exciting. So I thought I would share this spot. So let's talk about the gear. First of all, if you watched any of my videos from a few weeks ago when we were catching all the white bream trophies, I've got a very similar setup going right now. I'm using small, like starter, not starter, but early game gear because we're using this 3.1 fluorocarbon leader so very small leader with with size 10 hooks and red worm so this time around we're using red worm not the red worm boilies real red worm and you'll see as i move forward that this is pretty much what we have on the first two lines the third line is pretty different but let me show you the ground bait while we're here this is one that i did this is basically white bream mix with some chopped worm added in so you've got a ground peas base blood worm fly maggots chopped worm and fennel that's very similar just to, to the base um menu for white bream mix right uh okay we've got some fish on and that's one that i just put together i'm sure that's been done before but i was trying to keep it very simple because uh, ultimately, and there's a zebra mussel, you do get both types of mussels in this spot on red worm as well, which is kind of fun. Ultimately, I don't believe the ground bait matters that much. I think as long as you have something that attracts bream or smaller bream, then you're going to be fine. But um, I will show you the actual ground bait that Skeppy recommended you use. And I'll show you the one that I actually caught the trophy on, which those are one and the same. Um, 
I'll tell you what, I, I actually, now that I say that, I take that back. I'm not sure that Skeppy even mentioned what ground bait he was using, he or she was using. I think that's a Vimba, isn't it? Yeah. So you start getting marker Vimbas and the marker Blue Bream, you really are starting to get into the silver. Sorry, I'm going to click out of the screen real quick just to double check. Uh, yeah, Skeppy did not mention... Wait, did show his setup? Yeah, he just has it named Skeppy. Oh, there it is. Ground peas. So he's got casters and cookies as additives. Okay. And hemp seed oil is attractive. He's got a completely different. So go to the go to the forums if you want to see more about what Skeppy used. And I may have to may have to test that as well. Um, but real quick before I pull this fish in, this is the old white blue bream mix. This is the mix we were using when we were catching all those white trophy whites. And it's still got ground peas, it's still got bloodworm fly maggots. This one has rice as an additional additive as well as the fennel. But you see, this one is set up the same way, 3.1 liter. Now, oddly enough, the line that I caught the trophy on was my third one. And as you can see, we don't have that 3.1 liter. We're actually using fluorocarbon line, 9.8 with a Sabre 60. This is like old school, the way I used to catch trophy bream, except we do have a size 10 hook instead of eight. And this is what the trophy blue came on. So again, I'm not sure. I think they're just biting right now. I think the blue bream are just active. So you can test different ground baits and you can test different line sizes and strengths if you want to. Ultimately, as long as you are putting bait and ground bait in the water that they like, here's another blue. I think they're coming out of the water right now. And that means if you can put up with the roaches and the perch, and occasionally catching the regular bream, occasionally catching the white bream, you actually can make a lot of silver in this spot without damaging gear you know i mean this is a pretty low intensive way to um to bring in some decent silver so which that's why i wanted to to make this video enough bream have been biting here that it might be worth trying putting garlic dough in just to see if overnight on one line if, if regular bream would be biting but the blue bream is worth so much silver that targeting them right now just makes sense right this is probably gonna be a big old roach I also have caught Eyed here. Oh, that is an Eyed. Okay. I've also seen Eyed coming in off the Red Worm. So you're, you're catching a nice wide variety of, of different fish. And that's one of the reasons why I really like, I really like this spot right now. Because there's so much variety. But ultimately, the money fish is coming in as, as a high enough rate that um, you're going to make decent silver. And it's pretty easy to target them too. So anyway... Go ahead and stop the video now. Well, let's see what this last fish is. Um, I don't want to belabor the, belabor the point. Oh, I didn't mention the clip. We're clipped at 25 meters. Uh, I'm clipped at 25 meters. I think I might be like 26 on the last one. But my first two lines are clipped at 25 meters. So we're just kind of throwing it out there. And um, that was a nice little white bream. And yeah, they're coming in. In about an hour or about one day of fishing, you'll probably catch between 80 and a full net of fish. Now, a lot of those will be roaches and perch if you fish the whole 24 hours, if you don't skip the hot part of the day. But if you don't mind pulling in a few roach, a few perch, uh, everything adds up to our silver. And like earlier, I got lucky with a 20 silver roach order. So, I mean, you know, it may be worth just sitting here and, and fishing here 24-7, but I would say for these blue bream, and here's another one, kind of hitting the ideal points. Um, it's really more of like 16 hours a day where, where you've got a pretty good chance that either those or the Vimba are gonna come out of the water. Imagine if this was a blue. So I pulled that trophy out on my back line so it didn't even pull very hard because it's on the 9.8 fluorocarbon, this is a roach. A lot of like 600 gram roaches is what I'm seeing. I haven't seen a trophy roach or anything like that on the red worm. Just a lot of uh, right around that 600 gram mark. Something smalls on here. <clears throat> this is probably a mussel or just a tiny fish. Look how little it's pulling. And this is on a 3.1 liter. Oh, it's a miniature blue. Wow. Yeah, the blues are definitely out though. The blues are definitely out. Okay, as always, thank you for watching. I hope that uh, if you haven't been fishing this spot, here in the last couple days, maybe you'll come try it. Get your first first trophy blue, uh, unless you already have them, which um, 
congrats on that, but it was nice to finally get a trophy blue. Thank you for watching.